I get it. I get it. You hate Dak. He trash. The team trash. The offense is overrated. I get it. That's fine. Feel how you want to feel. Just stop trying to tell me about it. I don't need convincing. I'm still rocking with him. Good people. It's your boy, Mr. Rome. Cowboys fan talk. Right back like I never left. Ugh. That one stings, don't it? Yes, that one stings. Um, the loss was bad. I just want to make some things clear, though, before I get off into my diatribe. Um, I'm not here to cape for Dak Prescott. Even though I wore the Dak jersey anyway, you know what I'm saying? Just to make a statement of, I still rock with him. So if you're here to see if I stop rocking with him, I'm about to hate on him, you can go ahead and click off the video. That's fine. <laughs> you in the wrong place. Um, but I'm not here to make an excuse for Dak. Um, or the offense, you know, I'm here to ask you guys some questions. I would love for y'all to participate with me, you know, respond in the comments if you want to, or you can just, you know, do your number one, two, or, um, well, the people that's here to hate, you know, let your hate fly. I ain't here to stay for you, you know, I'm just, I'm just wanted to let you know up front, you don't need to try and convince me because I'm, I'm not one to be convinced. You know, I got my own views and opinions, hence the channel. But, um, you know. Couple things I thought about the game. One, Arizona, we had you on the ropes. You was desperate a little bit. You know, you're pulling out trick plays as far as like the punt, um, the fake punt, and things like that. Early in the game, y'all looked a little bit scrambly. Even though we were off, Arizona looked a little bit scared to me. Now you can tell me I'm I'm lying, I'm tripping, I don't care. It just feels like they were pulling out all the stops because they didn't they they realized that they were dealing with a better team than they played last year. Um Offensively, man, we gotta get started faster, man. I don't know what's going on. I don't know if they, they just need to, we need better scheming. Um, Dak, you need to be more aggressive with going down the field. Um, yes, I don't mind critiquing Dak. Dak ain't perfect. That's not my point. I just still support and feel like Dak will be fine. Um, but yeah, I would love for Dak to go be a little bit more aggressive down the field earlier in the game. Um, I know they're playing two deep safeties and not really giving too much over the top. I understand that. But that part is where Kellen Moore comes in. He has to have better schemes. I watched some of the some of the plays where the route concepts are just trash. No crossing routes, no anything to get our receivers open. No pick plays, no nothing. Just kind of, you know, a lot of comeback routes and things like that. The, the, the offense looks stale. It just did, man. And so my first question tonight is, um, if Kellen Moore took that job, he, he's going to interview with the Jaguars, would you be that mad? Would you? Because there's so many times this year where, I'll look at a game and the offensive concepts just look trash. You know, call me a hater, call me a Dak apologist. This isn't about apologizing for Dak's poor play early in the game. Um, I don't think he played as poorly as everybody gonna want to say though. Um, maybe not as many yards, but three touchdowns. I think Dak did his job. Um, Dak led the team in rushing as well. That shouldn't happen. That shouldn't happen. If he didn't lead it, he was close. Um, nah, he shouldn't, he shouldn't, no, he should not be the one excelling in the run game, pass game, that's not even how our offense works, um, Dak isn't even that type of quarterback, I love that his leg part of his game came back, but, um, yeah, you know, one of his early touchdowns went to Michael Gallup, Michael Gallup apparently looked like he may have minorly or completely torn his ACL, he did walk off under his own power later, they, they said, leaving the stadium, but, um, that's a hell of a loss. But um, our offense did kind of pick up. I don't know what it is. Cedric Wilson just does the job, man. I know some of our better offensive times this year, Cedric Wilson was that third receiver. I don't know if we can we, – we, I'm mad to lose Gallup because of the element he brings to the offense. But Cedric Wilson is not a bad drop-off. So I'm not going to make that excuse for the team, but I do want Michael Gallup to man. If you are hurt, I hope the Cowboys bring you back to allow you to redeem yourself, maybe a one-year deal. And I hope you get back right, man, when you can get back on the field. Um, Defensive-wise, I've seen people complaining about the defense. Um, we got exposed, and we can't stop a good team. And, you know, 
Offense didn't do the defense no favors, man. Defense spent a lot of time on the field. They were tired. Um, but I like what our defense did, man. I, I, I'm i not mad at the defense. Um, Anthony Brown had a bad day. He had a long day. He had a long day. Um, I seen Kevin Joseph out there a little bit. I don't know if he replaced Anthony Brown or just rotating him. I don't know what's happening. I can't wait till more in-depth analysis as the game comes out so we can talk about that. But um, defensive-wise, man, I wouldn't mind seeing Arizona again. I wouldn't. You know, and there is a silver lining to this game. There's a silver lining, but I'll get to that in a second. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'll get to that in a second, man. Just the, the, the game wise, man, the refs, man, the refs. Yes, the refs piss me, piss me off, man. Sean Hockey Lee and his crew, the NFL officiating crew. It's a shame. It's a shame that they can affect games that much and have that much influence over games. It shouldn't be happening, but it does. Um, every time I see Sean Hockey Lee as the referee for our game, I almost chalk it as a loss. It's a shame. It shouldn't be like that, but he just, the, the, the calls just seem one-sided. I don't know if he got a vendetta against the Cowboys or if he grew up hating us or whatever's going on. Um, I don't know if his wife got a crush on Dak. I don't know what's happening, but there's holes that get let go for the Cowboys and the, the, the obnoxious holes that get called on us every big play today seem to get called back because of a holding penalty. And it was just crazy. You know, the refs are so devout. The dude, the, the fumble that happened at the end of the game, the ref is pointing at the ground all defined. Like, look, it's down. And it wasn't. You could have took some time and talked to your colleagues and tried to get the play right instead of trying to grandstand and do all this pointing stuff and look like an idiot and be wrong. Now, we didn't have any more timeouts, so we couldn't challenge it. But you know what? The Ines got on lie, and it showed that it was a fumble, and it showed that you looked like an idiot pointing at the ground so hard, talking about it was down. You could have just been like, I think it's down. Let's review. Let's talk about it. But no, the refs got a vendetta against the Cowboys when Hockey League's crew was out there, and I don't know if they got a little group chat talking about how they hate the Cowboys. I don't know what's going on with them, but they all cornballs in my book, and we just got to know if we end up with Sean Hockey League and his crew as the refs in any of our playoff games, we have to beat the refs as well. It just is what it is. It's not a fair playing field. Um, it's just not. Um, but offensively, man, I think Dak did as much as he could. You know, and I'm not saying he was perfect. He definitely he sailed a couple throws high and didn't seem in rhythm earlier. But it just seemed like, you know, he got out of the blocks and started to play better later. And that happens from time to time. But I don't feel like Kyler Murray outplayed Dak by no means. You know, he had a couple good runs, though. I'll give Kyler that. But I am not afraid of Arizona. Right now, it looks like Arizona would be our matchup. And y'all can come on back to Dallas. Let's get it. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? Because he was talking spicy after the game. Buda Baker talking about how he confused Dak. And they had this and that. And I'm like, cool. Bet. That's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? I'm competitive. So let's get it, Arizona. Y'all feeling yourself? Fine. The haters is here to tell me that I'm stupid. Fine as well. We end up with Arizona coming back to us. I'm looking forward to it. Won't lose a wink of sleep. But there is a silver lining. <laughs> um, division rivals, man. Y'all funny. I've seen Philly taking benches to stadiums now. Washington fans chanting Dallas sucks as they get beat by the Eagles. Like Our division rivals are so corny. We own real estate in y'all mind. And it's hilarious. But all I've heard over the last week and a half from Philly content creators and all kinds of procrastinators and Emmanuel Acho and everything saying, you know, Dallas don't want to see Philly in the first round. They don't want that three games matchup. Philly going to rest the starters and it's on. The funny thing about the loss today is it drops us to the fourth seed. We can't get knocked out the playoffs and the division is already ours. So that's done. That's done. But see, Phillies win. <laughs> Putting them in the playoffs means that they got to play the Rams now. <laughs> or possibly the Bucks. I love it. Because it takes a win out of themselves. See, everything that Philly does is about us. They just couldn't wait to play Dallas in the first round. Because we was going to beat them. And now y'all got to play Los Angeles. And y'all ain't as hype anymore. It deflates y'all. Because everything that y'all do is about us. When y'all don't get to play us first round, it's going to be hilarious to watch y'all try to beat the Rams. And y'all not equipped. Y'all not. But it's fine. That's the silver line of people. Philly fans is hurt because they don't get to play us first round. 
you corny. But I'm not as mad as y'all would think I am. I'm not. I'm not happy about the loss. No. Disappointed in my team. Definitely want us to pull it out today. Want us to make a statement. We did it. No excuses. We lost. Arizona was the better team today. With the refs and the sluggish offense and the defensive missteps and everything. Taking on the chin. We lost. We'll be better for it. It's your boy, Mr. Rome, man. Y'all let me know how y'all feeling about the team. I ain't shaking. But maybe you stirred. Peace.